Welcome to our AWS Fundamentals course. We are so thrilled to have you here. I'm Phil. And I'm Paolo. This course is designed for beginners just getting into cloud computing and we'll be covering the very fundamental aspects of IT and AWS, the world's most comprehensive and broadly adopted cloud platform. From computing power, storage, and databases to machine learning, analytics, and Internet of Things, IoT, AWS has it all. But we'll also be talking about real-world applications, so you'll learn how to make informed decisions, selecting the right AWS tools for specific projects, and troubleshooting AWS-related issues swiftly. A quick tip for improving your course experience is you can speed up or slow down the video playback. You can turn on or off captions. You can always pause, rewind, and you get lifetime access. So you can always come back to a lesson if you need to rewatch it again. We know this course won't be perfect for everyone. Please let us know if there's anything we can do to make this course better for you. And of course, we'll try to do that. We're so excited to have you here and I'm gonna pass you off to Paolo to start learning. Okay, so let's look at how this course is structured. Keep in mind that my main goal is for you to be able to finish this course. And when you finish this course, you should be able to uh, have really good solid foundation on cloud computing as well on Amazon uh, AWS, Amazon Web Services. So in the beginning, we are going to talk about IT fundamental. IT stands for information technology so that you have some ideas, some basics ideas on how all of that works. And then we're going to talk about cloud computing in general. What is cloud computing? Why is it important? Then the majority of our time in this course, we are going to focus, of course, on AWS. So we're going to do a deep dive on basics concepts of AWS. We're going to look also at intermediate concepts, of course. And then we're going to look into advanced intermediate concept. Now, I didn't say advanced and I put advanced is a telesizer. It's just to say that, you know, we're not going to go too advanced to where it's overwhelming because I do realize that this course is a beginner, um, more introductory course on AWS. So I'll make sure, of course, that we stay at that good level. But of course, I want to challenge you a little bit so that you feel like something is happening, so that you feel like you're actually um, gaining something. I don't want you to get bored. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. Okay. And later, we are going to talk about AWS certification path if you choose to do so, because that would be something that you may be interested in. Okay. So that is the main structure of this course. Now, this course is going to have a lot of hands-on included, which I think is the best way to learn. How However, we'll also have a lot of theory because I think it's important that we have theory as well as hands-on because those two come together. That's when the magic of learning happens. If you want to skip a section or lectures because you already know, for instance, you know IT, you can skip IT section. If you know about cloud computing, <laughs> you can do so, even though I know that's why you're here. But hey, you never know. The idea is that you get the most out of this course. That's all that matters to me. Um, it's not about you going from A to Z. It's just about you to getting what you need and go from there. That said, I would also encourage you, if you can, to just go through everything, the whole course, uh, even things that you think you already know. The reason I say that is because it may be that there's some gaps in your knowledge. So it's also important that would help you fill in those gaps, those knowledge gaps, if you just go through everything. Okay. So that is the structure of this course. I'm very excited. Let's keep going.